Let's understand what is an identity. As we know that an equation contains two algebraic expressions on either side of the equality sign that is equal to. Consider the equality x plus 1 x plus 2 is equal to x square plus 3x plus 2. The LHS that is left hand side of the given equation is x plus 1 into x plus 2 and the RHS that is right hand side of the equation is x square plus 3x plus 2. On evaluating both sides of this equality for some value of x say x is equal to 10 we get left hand side is equal to x plus 1 into x plus 2 putting the value of x in the given equation we get 10 plus 1 into 10 plus 2 that is 11 into 12 equal to 132 similarly putting the value of x in right hand side we get 100 plus 30 plus 2 that is equal to 132. Thus, the value of the two sides of the equality are equal for the value of x is equal to 10. Let us now take x is equal to minus 5. Putting the value of x in left hand side and right hand side, we get LHS equal to 12 and RHS is equal to 12. Thus, for a is equal to minus 5, LHS is equal to RHS. So, we found that for any value of x, left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence, such an equality which is true for every value of the variable in it is called an identity. Thus, x plus 1, x plus 2 is equal to x square plus 3x plus 2 is an identity. An equation is true for only certain values of the variable in it. It is not true for all values of the variable. It, for example, consider the equation x square plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 132. This equation is true for x is equal to 10. But it is not true for x is equal to minus 5 or for x is equal to 0, etc. So, this equality is not an identity. Standard identities. An identity is equality, which is true for all values of the variables in the equality. These identities are very useful in factorization and simplification of algebraic expressions. These are some of the standard identities. a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. a plus b a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Another useful identity is x plus a x plus b all four identities are useful in carrying out squares and products of algebraic expressions in all these simplifications we are using the standard identities they also allow easy alternative methods to calculate products of numbers and so on identity a plus b the whole square let us first consider the product a plus b a plus b or a plus b the whole square. We can write it like this. a plus b the whole square is equal to bracket open a plus b bracket close bracket open a plus b bracket close. We can solve this step by step as we did in earlier cases following the distributive law of multiplication. Observe that every term in one binomial multiplies with every term in the other binomial. Since AB is equal to BA is equal to A square plus 2AB plus B square, thus A plus B the whole square is equal to A square plus 2AB plus B square. So, we can say that square of sum of two terms is equal to square of first term 
plus square of second term plus 2 into product of first term and the second term. Clearly, this is an identity since the expression on the right hand side is obtained from the left hand side by actual multiplication. For many problems on multiplication of binomial expressions and also of numbers, use of the identities gives a simple alternative method of solving them. Let's learn to apply this identity to expand or simplify an equation. To find the square of given binomial, 1.1m plus 0.4 the whole square, we will apply identity 1, that is, a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Here, a is equal to 1.1m and b is equal to 0.4. So, putting the value of a and b in the given identity, we get 1.1m plus 0.4 the whole square is equal to 1.1m square plus 2x 1.1m 0.4 plus 0.4 square is equal to 1.21m square plus 0.88m plus 0.16. So, the identity method requires fewer steps than the direct method. Identity a minus b the whole square. As a minus b the whole square means a minus b, a minus b, in carrying out the multiplication of a polynomial by a binomial, we multiply term by term, that is, every term of the polynomial is multiplied by every term in the given binomial or trinomial. So, we have a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus ab minus ba plus b square. Adding the like terms, we get a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Thus, a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So, we can say that square of difference of two terms is equal to square of first term plus square of second term minus 2 into product of first term and second term. Clearly, this is an identity since the expression on the right-hand side is obtained from the left-hand side by actual multiplication. Let's learn to apply this identity to expand or simplify an equation. To find the square of given binomial, bracket open, 6x square minus 5y, bracket close the whole square, we will apply identity a minus b the whole square. Here, a is equal to 6x square and b is equal to 5y. So, putting the value of a and b in the given identity, we get that bracket open 6x square minus 5y the whole square is equal to 6x square the whole square minus 2x 6x square 5y plus 5y square. It is equal to 36x to the power 4 minus 60x square y plus 25y square. So, the identity method requires fewer steps than the direct method. Identity third, a square minus b square. Let's find the product of a plus b, a minus b. In carrying out the multiplication of a binomial by a binomial, we multiply term by term, that is, every term of the binomial is multiplied by every term in the given binomial. We have a plus b, a minus b, which is equal to a bracket open, a minus b bracket close, plus b bracket open, a minus b bracket close, is equal to a square minus ab plus ab minus b square. Since ab is equal to ba, therefore, a plus b, a minus b, is equal to a square minus b square. Now, let's use this identity to solve a problem. Can you find the value of 983 square minus 17 square? Well, this looks very difficult. To find the value of 983 square minus 17 square, we may apply the identity 3, that is a square minus b square. Here, 
A is equal to 983, B is equal to 17. So putting the value of A and B in identity 3, we get A square minus B square is equal to A plus B, A minus B. 983 square minus 17 square is equal to 983 plus 17 into 983 minus 17. Adding and subtracting the terms, we get 983 square minus 17 square is equal to 1000 multiplied by 966. So, the answer comes out to be 9,66,000. Well, don't you find it easier? Try doing this directly. You will realize how easy our method of using identity 3 is. Identity 3 can also be applied to solve the products like this. To find the product of 194 and 206, we will apply the identity 3. 194 multiplied by 206 can be expressed as bracket open 200 minus 6 bracket close multiplied by bracket open 200 minus 6 bracket close. So 194 multiplied by 206 is equal to 200 square minus 6 square is equal to 40,000 minus 36. So the answer comes out to be 40,000 minus 36, that is 39,964. Identity x plus a, x plus b. We will now work out one more useful identity, x plus a, x plus b. As we multiply the two binomials using the distributive law of multiplication, is equal to x square plus bx plus ax plus ab. We can write it like this. Is equal to x square plus bracket open a plus b bracket close x plus ab. This identity can be used in simplifying and evaluating algebraic expression. To evaluate the product of 107 multiplied by 103, we will apply the identity x plus a x plus b the product 107 multiplied by 103 can be expressed as bracket open 100 plus 7 bracket close bracket open 100 plus 3 bracket close. Here x is equal to 100, a is equal to 7 and b is equal to 3. So putting the value of x, a and b in the given identity, we get that bracket open 100 plus 7 bracket close bracket open 100 plus 3 bracket close is equal to 100 square plus bracket open 7 plus 3 bracket close 100 plus 7 multiplied by 3 is equal to 10,000 plus 1,000 plus 21 is equal to 11,021. The value comes out to be 11,021. Similarly, to find the product of bracket open y square plus 2 bracket close bracket open y square minus 3 bracket close we will apply the identity 4. Here x is equal to y square a is equal to 2 and b is equal to minus 3. Applying the given identity we get bracket open y square minus 2 bracket close bracket open y square minus 3 bracket close is equal to bracket open y square plus 2 bracket close bracket open y square plus bracket open minus 3 bracket close bracket close is equal to bracket open y square bracket close square plus bracket open 2 plus bracket open minus 3 bracket close bracket close y square plus 2x bracket open minus 3 bracket close is equal to y to the power 4 plus bracket open minus 1 bracket close y square plus bracket open minus 6 bracket close is equal to y to the power 4 minus 1y square minus 6.